everybody and welcome back to Super Science Saturday. I'm Tim and I'm super excited about having the Super Science Saturday science surprise with the sensational Soleil over at Beanstalk. This is gonna be so much fun. I don't even know what's gonna happen, but you're gonna find out. Soleil, are you ready? I am so ready. Woo, take it away. Welcome to Beanstalk. Whether we're building a rocket together, learning about nature, creating a masterpiece, moving our bodies, or telling exciting new stories, we always have a ton of fun learning at Beanstalk. Parents love Beanstalk because it makes their lives easier with pre-planned activities, providing an opportunity for kids to make meaning of the world around them, all through super fun classes. Sign up today for unlimited interactive classes and activities at Beanstalk. Beanstalk where curiosity grows. Hello, everybody. Well, I am so excited to be here today because I love science. You might be able to tell from my super special scientist outfit that I'm wearing today. I've got some goggles and I've got a lab coat that I added things I love to like flowers and suns and hearts. And today, I wanted to create something together with you because science is all around us all of the time. If you are a scientist, can you create a scientist stance? You can stand like a scientist. I like to feel very proud. <laughs> And even if you are not working in a lab or researching or mixing chemicals together, you are still a scientist too. Because science is all about asking questions about the world around us and then investigating our questions with experiments or inventions, all kinds of things that we use to create so that we can help answer our questions. So today, I was thinking that we could create something that helps us feel that surprising feeling when we discover something new. Because every day when I find something new and I feel that discovery, it's so surprising. I feel so excited about it. So here is what you are going to need. I've got a box. This is my special builder box full of all kinds of building materials, which are mostly recyclable, like containers or cardboard tubes. So if you have something that you like to build with or create with, you can find it around your room or wherever you are today. You might have some clay, something you can swish with your fingers. You might have some paper because whatever you have to create with, you can use. And if you wanna put into the chat box, you can get help from your grown up, Or if you can type it yourself, you can put into the chat box some materials that you want to use to build something today. I'm gonna to look in my box and see what I am feeling inspired by. I have some rubber bands, which I like because they're really stretchy and I can wrap them around things. I'm also feeling inspired by this Play-Doh I have because it's really, really squishy. And I wonder what kinds of things I might be able to do with that. I also have my short and a long cardboard tube. And I notice that they fit inside of each other. So even these things that I would normally have thrown away, I'm feeling really inspired by and I'm feeling that wonderful scientific discovery kind of feeling where I think I can experiment and investigate with these. But when we're thinking of what we're going to create, we don't have to create the same thing because for all of us, the feeling of surprise and discovery is about different things. I really like recently, all the leaves have been falling off of the trees and they're all different kinds of colors. So I like to stop and look at those. And I feel really surprised by the reds and the browns and the greens and all the different colors of leaves. You might have found an animal or a little creature or a critter 
that you thought was really interesting to investigate. And then we can think about what was so fun and exciting about these things that we love. Hmm. Maybe it's about the colors of something. Maybe it's about how something moves. Maybe it's about something that you've never seen before and you want to know how it works. Or maybe it's the feeling of something like the first time I ever went down a slide that felt really surprising to me and exciting. Ooh. And I see in the chat oh, that some people have sticky notes and paper clips. Oh, Play-Doh, a bouncy ball. And I have a lot of those things too. That is so exciting. I'm glad that we have some things that are similar and some things that are different because whatever we create can be a little bit the same and a little bit different. Oh, and someone has water. Oh, I bet you can use that to create something too. We can use anything. I'm really thinking about how when I feel surprised, I find things that I might have never seen before. I find things that make me feel like, I wonder what this is going to be like. So I'm gonna start playing with my materials and I hope that you can play around with your materials too. This is my favorite part about inventing where I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make yet, but I always get ideas as I start playing around. Just like how I noticed these tubes fit within each other, kind of reminds me of when I went down a slide. It slides down. Maybe you have something that slides down too. Hmm. And maybe there can be something inside that you might not notice at first. <gasps> that we can see inside of. Hmm. I think I really like this idea of something that can move, kind of like it can slide down and something that maybe there's another surprise inside. And you can keep putting into the chat box things that you are discovering, or if you're a grown up helping out a little one, what you and your little one are discovering together. I think I want to try making something that can go into a slide. Hmm. This is when I start thinking, what can fit? I have another cardboard tube, but can't really fit inside, but I could put it on top. You might have something that can fit inside. Hmm. Maybe I can take a look inside of my box and find something. I know when I'm looking for something to fit inside of something else, it needs to be smaller so that it can go inside. Because if it's bigger, it won't really fit. And I did find, I have a little cotton ball. Do you think this would work? I think so, let's try. going into my slide. Mm. And this is what makes me feel really excited because if I gave this to my friend, they would not know that there was something inside of there. But it can't really get out. Hmm. Now I'm wondering, how could it get out of this slide? Hmm. Oh, I see someone said that Halloween candy could fit too. Yeah, you might have all kinds of things like Halloween candy could fit inside. I have some really tiny little pom-poms too. And maybe that one would fit a little bit better because this one got a little stuck. Hmm, I'm gonna try using it kind of like a straw because I was seeing someone talking about how to drink something and I see someone's talking about water too. So maybe I can pretend kind of like it's a straw, but instead of breathing in, I'm gonna breathe out to try to push this out so that I can try something new. <gasps> oh. It just went out the other side. 
outside. Wow, I love this idea about Halloween candy. And I'm gonna try to maybe find some more things that I can put inside it. But that was really exciting when I blew air through my tube. Is anything exciting and surprising happening with your invention? These smaller ones, I think, can go inside. Let's see if they fall out. Oh, wow. I love that when I'm inventing something, I feel so surprised by all of the discoveries that I make, even with things that I've made other inventions with before, like cardboard tubes. Wow. I'm going to see if I can find something that might be a little bit different. Hmm. This is a totally different shape. You might find something that's a totally different shape from a material that you have. Like if you have a piece of paper or something that's kind of square or rectangular, maybe you can find something that's like a circle. And how might they go together? Hmm. I like to think about shapes and how we can change them into new shapes. Can't really change the shape of this one, but if I change the way that I look at it, becomes a new shape. Now it kind of looks like a rectangle. And this one can fold. So you might think about what kinds of combinations you can make with your materials to go inside of other things. Whoa. Whoa. This kind of reminds me of a slide at the bottom when you go through the tube and it slides out. So maybe I want to add this into my creation. Whoa, so now I've got this part of my slide that goes into a bigger tube that goes into the end of the slide. This is so cool. I love getting to make things. But now I'm wondering how to hold all of these pieces together. There's something that we can use that would hold these pieces together so that they don't keep falling around. Hmm. You might have something near you. I see someone in the chat said glue. Yeah, we can use glue. I can use some glue. And there are some other sticky kinds of things that we might use too. Someone even said we could use a glue, a glue kind of acid that might dissolve, but that'd be a really cool experiment if I had a kind of a glue acid that could combine these things together. Hmm, I'm going to try using some tape because I know tape is sticky, kind of like glue. When I'm attaching things together, I'm never sure how much I need. That's kind of the fun of my experimenting. One piece of tape, but it doesn't seem very strong. I wonder how many pieces I'm gonna need to attach it together. Maybe you're taping something smaller or something that's not so heavy and you need less glue or less tape. Now it seems like it's attached. I use two pieces. I can also look through it. Whoa. So working on my slide, I'm curious from all of you, if you want to tell me about, or you can tell the person next to you, if you have a friend or a grown up who's with you, you can tell them about what you are creating and inventing. Or maybe you're getting inspired for a new idea. Like now I'm thinking if I'm making a slide that feels so exciting and surprising, maybe I could create an entire playground. That would be really, really cool.
I think I'm going to add some people to go down my slide so that they can test it out for me. Put in my what can fit inside of your invention? Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! This is so cool. I wonder what other things might go down a slide. Maybe something like a pipe cleaner. If I wrap it all up into a ball, it can go down. <sighs> hmm. This is giving me some new ideas. As I'm playing around with my invention, I'm thinking about what other things that I can add. I see someone said, maybe it can be longer. I can make a longer slide. Maybe I can make a faster slide. I can make all kinds of things. And I am thinking for my people, my little cotton balls going down, maybe I could make a super swirly twirly slide. That would be really cool too. So you might think about how you can change your invention to be bigger or smaller, or twirly and swirly, or to fit other things inside of it. Whenever I'm inventing, I feel the most like a scientist because I get to do all kinds of experimenting, and then I change it, and I test it out again, and then I change it, and then I test it out again, and it really makes me feel so excited. How do you feel when you are discovering something new or creating something? How does it look? I feel like this, like, ooh, so happy, kind of like, I just want to jump around. I'm also thinking sometimes I run into problems. Like this cotton ball is too big. It doesn't really fit. Hmm. So maybe there's something that I could add that would help my bigger cotton ball go down my slide too. Hmm. I wonder what I could add. What do you think? How could I change this invention so that something bigger could go down? This one fits, but my smaller tube doesn't. I've used my breath before to push something through, but this one seems a little too big. Hmm. I might change the shape of it to make it more like this shape. It's a little bit bigger. Or I might find something new that's a little bit bigger, like this cardboard tube is just a little bit bigger than this one is. Let's see if this one works a little bit better. That one does work a little bit better. Wow. When I run into problems in my inventions sometimes, when I'm trying to test something out, I can feel really frustrated sometimes and I get kind of angry. I feel really angry at myself sometimes, like, ugh, why doesn't it work? Do you ever feel that way when you're making something? I definitely do. But then if I keep testing out new ideas and sometimes if I take a break and then I try my invention again, I think of a new idea. Sometimes I like to ask my friends about ideas that they have because a lot of times they have ideas I would have never even thought of before. Now let's see if my big cotton ball can go down my slide, but I got a new tube. And it worked! Wow! This idea of this slide is making me think of all kinds of other fun things that I've been to that I want to try to make again. 
like maybe something that can spin or shake things around. Like this other container I have, I can shake it up or change it. And even this is an invention. It's a scientific discovery. Everything in our world can be ready for any kind of investigation, whether you're making something, shaking something up, looking at something really closely, or leaving something for days and days to watch what happens over time. You can collect things that you find outside and watch them, shake them up, build slides for them. Anything can become a super special science experiment. So if anyone wants to share into the chat something that you are working on or something that you are thinking about that you want to investigate sometime, you want to experiment with, I would love to see all of the things that you are thinking about because it helps inspire me to think in new ways too. I'm thinking about someone said they have some sticky notes. I have some paper and I have some tape. So even if it's not a sticky note, I could make my own kind of a sticky note. But I could stick to anything. Like that. Even a material can inspire me to think of a new idea. Maybe I can write some special notes on here or some instructions of how to use my slide. That's a really cool idea. Wow, there are so many amazing inventions that are happening out there. And my favorite thing about inventing, besides the feeling of discovery and surprise, is that you can invent anytime, all the time. So I might take a break and come back to this in an hour or a day or even a year and then decide I want to keep working on it or I can decide that I wanna turn it into something totally new and take it all apart. Whatever you invent, you get to decide how much time you spend on it and where you invent, if you invent inside or outside, and you can always keep changing it and adding to it. Because in our world, engineers who are thinking of inventions and inventors who are creating things all the time are always inventing new things. We call it prototyping, where we create one idea. We figure out, mm, this works, this part doesn't really work. Let me change it. And we might move some things around, change how it looks. We test it out again. We say, hmm, I really like this part, but I don't like this other part. And then we keep testing it out until we get to our perfect invention that has everything that we want. So I think, for all of you who are inventing something, you can come back to it later. You can also give it to a friend or a grown up or a brother or sister, and they can add something new to it too. Because one of my favorite things is when people that I know have great ideas, which is everybody, they get to add things to my invention to make it even better than it was before. So if you have someone around you right now, you might ask them, hey, can you add something to my invention? Here's an idea that I have. And then they might have an idea. And then you might get an idea from their idea. <gasps> and that is what I love about being a scientist. So if you still feel like a super scientist, you can show me your super scientist stance do, 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 do. I have my hands on my hips. I feel very proud. I'm standing like a superhero because that feeling is everywhere. Right, Tim? It is so light. I even have my invention right here. <sighs> oh, whoa! 
<laughs> it's a rain cloud. It's a rain cloud, and it's my pillow, and it's it's crunchy. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that invention. I was I was so inspired that I'm going to go do some other inventions too. We're going to take a break, and then we're going to come back with a super fun game. Thank you so much for the Super Science Saturday surprise, Ms. Sensational Soleil. Thank you so much. Thanks for creating with me, everybody. Bye.